Well, you need good eye and a good eye coordination, quick reflexes, and you can't blink or you've blown it. A German game that dates to the 1800s still pulls in the big crowds in one of Louisville's oldest original German immigrant neighborhoods, Stitzelberg. WHS 11 19 photojournalist Ian Hardwit was there as the dainty contest flew through the air for another year. In the air! Yes! Sticks and lemons. The rules of dainty are simple. Using a long stick, players hit the dainty twice. First up, then out. Whoever hits it the furthest is that year's champion. At 149 feet, one foot shy of the 150 foot field, Eric Allen is a strong contender for 2023. Other rules, like the three strike system, are easy to understand. But dainty tradition is unusual. The loser, who hits their dainty the shortest length, takes home a bag of lemons. Roxy Bickle took those lemons home one year. Oh, I totally ate them, drank them, made lemonade. What else? What else? Make lemonade. <laughs> and the original dainty meal, a plain bologna sandwich with dill pickle and potato chips, was so popular this year that the Merriweather, a Schnitzelberg bar, used up one important ingredient. We ran out of pickles. We've tripled our supply from last year. It didn't matter. We still ran out. Uh, next year, we're probably going to bring about 5,000, I think. George Houck, the namesake of the old Houck's Corner Grocery, where the Dainty Championship is held, instituted one specific change to the historic German sport. George Houck told me the gentlemanly thing to do is not practice. Something Houck was rumored to enforce himself. Guys was over at Old Hickory practicing, and he went over and took their practice peg from them. It's part of Dainty's spirit, the lottery-like luck each player gambles on when they go up to swing in front of the massive crowd. Those hundreds gathered, remembering the man who once ran the neighborhood corner store, are the real winners every year. It brings a huge crowd. I mean, like you heard somebody from Minnesota is here, people from Michigan, Ohio, like people from all around, probably the country. Like, if you know about Dainty, you know. From this year's 53rd annual Dainty, in Schnitzelberg, Ian Hardwick for the WHAS 1119, on your side.